What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Man, I got a fantastic video today and we're talking about the Monday Madness and man, did the market just do all sorts of crazy stuff. But we'll get into that inside the video. But what I need you to do right now is hit that like, share and subscribe button and I need you to come along with us on the journey. Please check the description tab, tons of tools and tidbits and all the hyperlinks to Traders War Room's products and services right there at your fingertips. Now, if that sounds good and you're ready to rock it with me, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind the viewer that this is not financial advice. The content is for entertainment and education purposes only. You're responsible for every decision you make. We want you to have fun, use caution, and always go to war. Please check out one of our affiliates, Maximus Global. They're promoting health and welfare benefits through the use of black garlic, living for a healthy lifestyle. If interested in more knowledge on the black garlic and the health benefits associated with this, please go to that website down there and use that product code if you decide you want to take a journey and try to get some products. Don't forget, you guys get the name, the Trader's War Room Battle Buddy mascot, okay? This guy right here needs a name, and you guys are going to put the names in the comments, DM me, email me, whatever. But this guy needs a name. We're taking all the names. We're going to compile them, and we're going to choose one and push it out. And this guy's going to get named in the middle of April, and then we're going to deck him out in some Trader's War Room bull armor. And he's going to be the mascot that's going to be with everything for Trader's War Room. And he will be up for promotional gifts as well, and also he'll be up for purchase on the website. So please. Please put a name to this bowl and come up with some cool ones, man. Make sure to check out traderswarroom.com, your true one-stop shop hub for all products and services Traders War Room has to offer. Guys, you can find everything on there, services such as these. One-to-one -one mentoring sessions. Refine your strategy, develop a new plan, and increase your profitability. Traders War Room one on one mentoring always focuses on you, and you can book your session today right at traderswarroom.com. Try one of our Zoom classes. Every battle needs a plan, and you can develop your plan with Traders War Room. Our classes are affordably priced at $15 a pop. You can purchase upcoming classes that we have available, or you can go into our library and get any of our historical classes and watch them 24 7 right from the website. And please, don't forget about our flagship, the Traders War Room Discord, a true one-stop shop for all traders and investors. We got both free and paid services. Right there at that link will get you into one of the most inspiring and like-minded group of traders and investors out there in any Discord server. Here's a list of the services that you can find over on our Discord. Guys, free and paid services. We're talking options, stocks, crypto, forex, futures, and listen, Truly something for everyone over on the Traders War Room Discord. And right now, you can get a five-day trial with any premium 2.0 membership. Guys, come check it out today. Guys, we hope you invest in yourself in 2022, and we hope you take Traders War Room along for the journey. Now, enough promotions. Let's get into the video. Here's the buzz report, what's hot and what's not in the stock market. Team, it was a rough day in the marketplace, red across the board, and I'm telling you, it was actually kind of a boring and lackluster type of trading session in the marketplace. Everyone was waiting on the information coming from the feds later on this week. 
Here's your picture, representation of how the market closed. Guys, when you see stuff like this, it's very hard to make money. Even puts won't make money because it was such a slow dripping effect with the market. So it was definitely not a good day in the marketplace at all. Here's a picture representation of the ETFs and how they closed today. Your overall industries, energy, the biggest loser, industrials, still a loser, but it was like the lowest loser, if you will. And we had financials and consumer staples coming in almost peaking like they wanted to do something but could not make it green. Total premiums, calls versus puts. Guys, I tell you guys this all the time. You have to follow the big money, and it's showing you the rotation and where the sentiment is going. Right now, it's looking as though we're seeming a little bit of bearish. A lot of money's going into the bearish side of the market, so we definitely are paying attention to that. However, those can always turn on a dime, and so we want to be prepared to make money both ways, on the way up and on the way down. Here's your futures, not looking too pretty on futures, but remember this is just a glimpse onto what could be, not what will be. These are not set in stone, so do not use these as a hardcore guide. These are just to get a plan and a strategy in motion so that when that bell rings, you're ready to attack. Top trending stocks, guys, we're starting to see a lot of rotation in the trending stocks going into these penny stock sectors, so you need to start paying attention to these. And a lot of these penny stocks, they don't have options. So if you're just a strictly option trader, you need to start probably branching off and looking for some decent trades into the penny stock market. It's heating up and there's money to be made. Speaking about that, I'm going to start adding in the most active penny stocks going forward until the penny stock market starts to cool down. But here's your most active penny stocks. There's a lot of money to be made. Listen, when these things push, you can get into these deep and for cheap, guys. And all you need this thing to do is move 25 cents or so, and you can make some killer profit. So top news, and this is what shook the market from the very get-go when that bell ringed. Asia stocks wobble. The dollar firm is markets wary before U.S. inflation data. So we had a two-fledged hit us all on the same day. So Asian shares were down while the U.S. dollar held strong on Tuesday as Treasury yields spiked to a three-year high ahead of U.S. inflation data, which could foreshadow even more aggressive interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve. So we're paying attention. Everyone is ready. Everyone is thinking the sentiment is looking bearish. So just be prepared, okay? Because these could come out better than expected. And all of a sudden, those puts that you guys got set up and ready to activate, they go the opposite direction. And now it's a bull market, okay, for a short term. So we got to pay attention. What I want you guys to do is play the market for what the market gives you when that bell rings. Some bullish news, and we've been talking about the financial sector has been due. So U.S. banks set for better than expected trading revenues. Trading may be a surprise bright spot for Wall Street banks in the first quarter after clients' rigid portfolios in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and interest rate hikes, analysts and executives say. So we're paying attention to these. Specifically, I like JPM, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Keep those on your radar because those are the ones that will move and those are the ones that have earnings coming up this week or moving into next week. And finally, I thought this was interesting on the EV sector. Honda to spend $64 billion on research and development as it revs up its electric ambition. So Japan's Honda Motor Company plans to spend 8 trillion yen, $64 billion on research and development over the next 10 years as it aims to roll out more than 30 electric vehicle models globally by 2030. Pay attention to this because this could be that spark to that EV boom, okay? Someone needs to go in deep and start rolling out the different features, and then that's going to start the cascading effect of all of these companies trying to keep up and stay competitive in this particular market. We're paying attention to this because a lot of us are deep in these um, stocks that were EV and they were speculative and we're paying attention to this because this is the boom that we hope is going to happen in this EV sector. All right, let's talk about some stocks. What are we watching and what kind of earnings do we have coming up? First, as always, we're looking at SPY, guys. And SPY dumped below the 61% Fabrizio line and went through 
that level of the 640 that we're talking about. Guys, it's not looking good for the SPY and it's not looking good when it's on its downward trajectory. We could be looking at some more downward pressure. The next test zone for this is about 436, so we're definitely paying attention to this. As always, there'll be opportunity for some bull moves and some bear moves throughout the day with SPY as it's gonna jump down and spike up. But ultimately, it looks as though that we're on a downward trajectory with the SPY, so we're paying attention to the next level. That 436 is important level, guys, and we'll hope to close above that so we can bounce right off of there and start shooting to the upside. Financial sector is being highlighted, so we're paying attention to XLF. Now, this typically moves kind of slower than the individual stocks along with the sector, but this could be a potential safer trade, especially if you go out a little bit, maybe like a mini leap or something, and you start playing this on the right direction. I like what this area is at. I do think it's plausible that we could have a push a dollar or two and push our way up to the $39 sector, especially if some of the individual stocks that hold high percentages in this asset allocation for this ETF get some great steam and some great upward momentum. So we're definitely paying attention to it. And we see we don't have much upcoming with earnings potential now these are just the most anticipated one there's always other companies that have earnings as well but these are the ones that have the highest implied volatility type of movements that give us those dramatic shifts one way or the other that we love and can make us some bank we definitely are paying attention to the airlines okay delta a lot of times with delta you'll see american airlines and ual move along with it we're also paying attention to some of the banks because city has earnings and this is going to start the beginning of the bank season here coming up in the next week or two so we got wells fargo we got city rite aid is one i want you guys to keep on your mind because this is one of those kind of consumer staple but also consumer discretionary trades but we went on a leap on this one earlier and this is i think a fairly decent trade and i like the levels that so pay attention to rad moving into this week and if it does well on earnings watch it for a significant jump that could give you a potential long-term trade first let's talk about dal one of the airlines and it had a pretty decent day today kind of consolidated from recent lows we thought it could potentially make a move and it definitely had a decent run-up going into earnings i like this for continuation i do think that we can push up and we'll start to go test that 40 dollars area so i'm bullish on dal Wells Fargo, another one I bullish on. Now with this one in particular, I would go out, especially if you're playing options on this, I would go out two to three weeks. I do think it has a lot of room to move. However, it could get bogged down with just a normal you know, volatility that's happening in the market. But I do think that we're on our way to the next push to go test those 52 to $55 area. And I think we do fairly well moving through earnings into the coming weeks. So I'm bullish on this, but you gotta go out a little bit further than expirations at the end of this week. Rite Aid, I was telling you guys about this one. Man, I like this one. Now, I don't know how this performs. I've never traded this one before, but I like the level it's at. It has earnings coming up, and the leap options on Rad are cheap, guys. So I went ahead and put in a trade on this one, and I went far out. I think I went out to January 2023, and definitely take a look at Rad. And if you start to see some momentum pushing in, don't be afraid to pull the trigger and get you some. Now, this one's interesting. This one's trending hard. And normally when I see things like this, I think a little too much too soon, especially coming from the areas where it was at. But this one had extremely good positive results from clinical data with a treatment for COVID-19. Now, I know that everyone's done thinking about COVID-19 and it seems as though it's in the past, but it's still here and very present. And so the treatments for it are still big money ticker items. So we're definitely paying attention to VERU as it may still have some steam left in it, especially if these clinical results prove to be really as good as they seem to be. And it could potentially start pushing this on up and we could even see $20 out of this particular ticker. On the opposite side of things, we're looking for some downward pressure on ZNTL. They had negative results with a cancer treatment. And so you guys already know things like this 
typically get these particular stocks to drop significantly and it definitely dropped very much far i mean it dropped from the 50 dollars range all the way down to 31 this thing could even see 25s even the low 20s by the end of the time where the trend stops to wear off and it finds bottom so we're paying attention to this on a bearish side another one that is kind of a 50 50 chance here tlt right on a downward trajectory definitely looks like it still has some downward momentum when we're looking at the sub indicators however be mindful that these things can always turn on a dime and we could definitely see a v-shaped recovery at least some percentage points on this particular ticker but looking for the downside on this one so i'm bearish and an interesting ticker i haven't traded this for a long time but wwe is starting to make some headways guys if you don't know wwe is starting to branch out into more than just wrestling movies and you know prime time entertainment with their wrestling you know platform that they have they're actually going into like some real movies um that molly's game that you guys are probably seeing trending i think on netflix that one wwe was one of the main producers of that movie and they're putting a lot of effort into their cinematography and their brand as far as pushing out and getting out of just the kind of the b-rated type of movies and they want to really go into some a and a plus style movies so pay attention to wwe i think they're on the right track and it looks as though we kind of came from a cool off and we have some room to grow so i wouldn't be surprised if we see a breakout on wwe so pay attention to these guys in the next coming week all right, that's the main bulk of the video. Right now, we're going to talk about some exciting things happening with Traders War Room that I want you guys to check out. So, I want to talk about the Traders War Room AI signaling bot, our algorithm bot. We call it the Terminator. Now, these are starting to pick up steam again, and a lot of people, especially in this choppy market, are trying to utilize the machine learning algorithms. But not every algorithm out there is the same, guys. Ours has been killing the market during all of this instability and everything guys i want you to please consider checking it out because there's some differences on what ours provides and what others provide and i did a youtube video that's about 18 minutes long and i broke down our bot how to use it and why it's different than the other one so please check that out and i hope i see you guys over on traders war room if you're not already members because this bot is killing it and you can make some serious cash utilizing our proprietary algorithm with the terminator bot right now the big promotion that we have is that we are pumping out trying to gain people to come check out our server and utilize the five-day trial for premium 2.0 listen there's a lot of servers out there and a lot of them are good in their own rights but we think that we offer something that the other ones don't and part of it is the military background that we have guys we truly live up to honor integrity and loyalty okay and those are huge to the core for traders war room and a lot of these other servers they're promising the moon and they're not delivering it you're not going to get any promises of the moon with traders war room we're going to tell you straight up how it is and we're going to give you sound advice for the market that it currently is okay there's no fluff there's no bs there's none of that stuff going on at traders war room we're like-minded community of traders and investors that are all just trying to grow learn and share and make some money together i hope you guys take advantage of this and come check us out at traderswarroom.com or hit up this discord link right there and come and check out and become a premium member of the discord and some upcoming classes we have in the works guys we took april off for classes we did our nft class on april 2nd and it was a fantastic class of great wealth of knowledge on how to trade nfts and how to create nfts for passive income and stuff like that but we decided to take april off and kind of focus back onto the server and getting involved back with the traders because the market was so volatile but we're going to start bringing back our classes starting in may and we're going to start with supply and demand zones trading futures 
and trading divergence. So we're excited to have these and you guys will definitely know when these classes are being promoted because I'm going to push it everywhere. But these ones are the ones that I'm seeing trending a lot right now on social media and I think people have questions about them and I want to give classes that give the people what they're asking for and give value and worth that's in a real time setting that is also trending and has you know some sort of value that is present in the current marketplace so i think these are going to be fantastic classes and i hope you pay attention to them you can also check all of our other classes out over at traderswarroom.com all right team that's the video reminder to invest in yourself in 2022 and we hope you take traders war room along with you on your trading and investing journey please check us out at traderswarroom.com and as always, we want to thank everyone for being loyal and kicking it with us here at Traders War Room. You guys are the reason that we do what we do. We also want to remind you that we look at the stock market at Traders War Room like a war zone. Stocks and sectors, those are our battles. We do it together as a team. Attack, conquer, and destroy, and we're always going to war. Now, if that sounds good and you're ready to rock it with us, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war together.